So I have a question for you guys. I'm out here at our job site, and this is the first 20 foot waterfall feature of this sort that we've ever built. And we're just gonna walk you through what it looks like right now. But what are your guys like? I have a combination of craftsmen, and then I have a combination of skilled laborers. And the craftsmen, they work for a higher purpose, the job satisfaction. Um, and you need that kind of that combination of them. But let's look at this shit. Look at that. Holy buckets. God, that is amazing. Yeah, it turned out pretty good, huh? It was, didn't take a day, but damn, it was worth it. Oh, yeah. Two days? Uh, it was two days you had water running in it? Three. Three days. We could have had it at three, but I had to call it early on Friday, so we didn't run any water in it until Monday. But yeah, three days. But he said typically when you're placing these bigger boulders like this, you can see it taking a day and a half, but I'm way too picky with it, so. And pickiness pays off. I was just saying on the way up, we have a combination of skilled labor and craftsmen. And craftsmen work for a higher purpose, right? And that's what I consider us. We're, you know, we've got, we try to get the guys like Isaiah in here that don't have the skills, but they want to learn. Those are the skilled laborers. And then we got guys like the team right here. That's craftsmen, right? Yeah, You're a craftsman. Together. You're a craftsman. Blaine's a craftsman. Yeah. When it comes, Sam, when it yeah. comes to cutting cats, there's nobody more meticulous than this guy. Yeah. There's nobody on earth. And everybody, everybody here has their own skills and their own little things. But the difference between a craftsman and a, and a laborer is a laborer works for a paycheck. A craftsman works for a higher purpose. That's my two cents. Next up, you're gonna see Tim talking with Chris Wilson. He's one of the Aquascape master installers and he decided to stop by our job site for a day just to see how things were going. We're gonna build this area up a little bit. Another one next year. I feel like you can have like this could be just a calculator out here he could tell you oh yeah that's six inches high so um what you could i mean this tree kind of really great i don't think it's going to matter mirroring those two because that those roots and stuff you're not going to be able to raise that out no i think if anything that's going to be just a pitch higher to kind of make that all blend out because you can yeah. see there's a big pump right there and we're going to cut it into another retaining wall over there but anyway, we're talking, you know, another eight, eight inches or whatever. Well, like yeah, this you, is gonna you don't need to build. Answer. You don't need to yep. build this up though if we're digging it out. We're anyway, digging it out, right? Yeah. So the only thing we need to build is out around it. Cool. How many blocks to be as close to that grade over uh, there? The sub let's grade, see, finish grade. Not the top of just the a like friendly the, bet. Top of the patio. Or well, we sure can always he's lower do that. A future patio. Sub grade. Over All right. There a little. I'm going with three point eight. Okay. Are you going on top of that slab over there? The one, not the well, step, right? Like the one right that the right tread is on. Yeah. Oh, the tread? Oh. Um, yeah, that's not so good. That's not good. Okay, cool. Yeah. Six. Is it six? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Just trying to find out. Oh. Dude, it looks that, that right. From here to there, I'm like, dude. From here to the tracks, I'm like, yeah, that looks pretty close. Right here and right here. Yeah. A couple of two, three decades of experience does that for you. Level it out a lot more. Just uh, no. 
Because you're gonna, so you're gonna, gonna be changing the elevation a little yep. bit, I think, aren't we? Yep. Do I want to do a little digging up here? Do we want to do a little flat around? Yeah, so what I think no, you're good. Do is scratch. So what we're gonna do is um, scratch this probably about four inches lower, straight and back, shelf it. and that will set our next elevation. As you scratch level, right, this is Should actually your waterfall's raising. Does that make sense? Yep. So, so you can scratch that level as far back as you want to create the height of your waterfall. Does that make sense? Yep. So then we raise the rapid. Right. Top falls kind of facing yeah. this way. Yeah. So it's going to kind of half moon. So you'll get a nice perspective. So what you're trying to do is set those boulders, set those boulders on the ground. Not on the block. Not necessarily on the block. Now you can set them on the block. You just really got to prepare them to disperse point loading, right? We want to change out point loading. There you go. So that. Nice radio, Drew. Yeah. Thank you for my wife. Yeah. Dude, it's funny. I got, I got the uh, same radio that he did from a crackhead at the gas station for ten dollars and four cigarettes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. When you set this, and we got to hand dig this, that middle block, this is going to sit in there, but that middle block, the bottom of it, is going to rest on this, okay? So when it rests on this, we got to dig this down. I think this is like seven inches. So you got to just dig a pocket for this to sit down in, and then the, that block, that edge is going to sit right on this. So you can see, see that seam line in the block? Mm -hmm. It's almost this block, this is going to sit right here, so this goes under it. That way, we have clean flow of water going down and in, right? The purpose of these blocks are water storage tanks, clean flowing water. The number one killer of all water features, your pump is not protected. The pump is the heart. It's one of the most expensive, if not the most expensive thing in there. Protect it. Clean intake, easy in and out, no mess, no tools needed. That's why it's important that these are set level, and then this is going, that bottom grade is gonna be right about here to where this sits level, okay? So uh, there'll be a space on the back side of this. There's gonna be a space on the back side. 
down the road when you guys get more and more and more into these you're going to be ordering or you do custom sized basins so we need there it's called water in motion right your moving stream is water in motion we'll calculate how many gallons in motion we have at minimum you need to store twice as much down here to make sure it's cycling you're gonna have some evap evaporation loss chris right that's just natural you got water we got oxygen we got stones we want to store as much as we can down here when you guys start building these like custom size we'll calculate how much water in motion there is we'll double it up i'm bidding guy <laughs> all right guys like fold it up in your arms like or you can just hand it to me dude and i'll get you down right here you want to center it yeah what does that mean oh i like those morning doves yeah right oh it's okay. just such a
for now. Uh, what I'd like to do uh -huh. is steal, once we set this rock, then we'll steal some of that yeah. washed river stone, the bigger stuff, put it around that um, uh, side over there, just so this little pebble stuff doesn't get inside our blocks, right? Watch out, use two. Watch out.
it's okay. It's like that? Yep. Alright, so you have two washers in. You have a rubber one, it always stays on. You have a plastic one in this nut, okay? Everybody watching? So what I'm gonna do up there is I take my liner and it comes up and over like this. And I'm gonna cut out this liner right here. You see this? Yep. That to slide on like so, yep. right? Then I take this and I put that on. Then I take this and I thread this on. Like that? Yep. I just make sure I don't bind this up. Don't yeah. bind that up. Once that's sealed, this is it. So this is gonna stay up like this and everything is on top of your liner. Then this gets glued in like that and that's how my pipe connects. You guys can with I, me? Yep. yep. Gonna add one thing here. Yep. Just so when you do that, don't you wanna kinda give yourself a little extra? A, a little bit. So in yeah. case that ever yeah. settles. Give yourself, yeah, good point. Give yourself a little, a little bit. Room. A little slack in it. Okay. Yep, a little extra slack. Damn, this is freaking impressive. Yeah, those are all stones that the customer handpicked. Yeah? Handpicked every single one of these. Place. All of these he picked yeah. out. Yeah. Picked what does he think of it so far? I loved it. Yeah? Yeah, I think. Yeah. Jeez. I just, I'm not even afraid of the waterfall, how those little, we just kind of slapped them stairs in there and all the stuff turned out really good, you know? <laughs> So this is gonna be the seat area right here. Be like a courtyard yep. down here. And you guys got the center stake in right there. Mm-hmm. Yep. Blaine's got us dialed in. Damn. Yep, be a nice little half moon wall here and steps going. Using the same that boulders way. that he's got or are we using a retaining We're wall? We're using a retaining wall block. Okay. Crystal lock, yeah. Okay. And I think he picked a good color too that will match out pretty good with it. He got the custom brown, so. Okay. I think it should match up pretty good with everything. Maybe a piece of paper job here, he said. Yeah, he wants uh, papers in this area going out past the tree there. Just had to work it within his budget this year, do it in phases. Mm -hmm. And he's already talking about 
making another one down there, but wider and broader and he wants stone natural stone steps coming up and i was like how cool would that be we could do like one two three steps for to a falls flatter area kind of turn incorporate the steps into the water feature you know uh -huh. so you're walking up alongside it yeah yeah if he wants, especially after you've seen this tree. he's like oh yeah i, I, <laughs> I mean, need I'm another sold. one yeah, yeah, i need another one. Oh my god this Go is bigger. just so cool i mean this is just so nice yeah it's out of luck I don't even know what you could do better. I don't even see how you could do anything better. Look at that rock Sam's on right now. That is yeah. so intense. Look at the mold and everything is coming yeah. out and it's like that the perfect stream bed in. The centerpiece there. No mortar, nothing. That's just hand skilled, lay them son of a ducks in and let her buck. Damn any ominous, that is gorgeous. Wow. Sam! How hard was it for you to not take that son of a duck home with you? <laughs> <laughs> Put that in the collection. <laughs> this one down here is even pretty cool too. Yeah. I got some more good data on my Oh man. Like, this is Where did all these rocks there, uh, come from? He had all of them. He hand picked all of them out of his dry creek bed over there. Yeah, stream bed. And then I, then I went through them and grabbed a whole bunch. And... Jeez, look at that. This is phenomenal. God, I don't want to leave. 